How's it going, everyone? It is your self-aware asshole here, about to give you a guide in a Zelda game. I usually do how-to guides in Ocarina of Time. But today we're going to go to Twilight Princess to talk about an item that is completely useless. Yes, the magic armor. It is the worst item in all Zelda games, as ranked by myself, so it's clearly the worst one. But I figured I'd explain how it works, and also how the entire process to get it is extremely annoying. So join me in our journey to get a complete piece of shit. You can start this after you beat the Lakebed Temple, it will trigger the events at the Malamart in Kakariko Village. Uh, you need to donate money. Just fuck off, Bird, if you don't mind. Uh, you will need to donate money to the Mallow Mart, which can help them uh, with some finances in the Castle Town uh, Mart. Uh, do note, you need it to be daytime to enter the Mallow Mart, so we are already off to a rough start here. Uh, I also, I don't know why this game doesn't allow you to jump between night and day quickly. It's kind of annoying, especially hunting pose. Uh, but it goes faster if you're in Hyrule Field, so make sure you're chilling there or some shit. Once it's daytime, you can go to visit this old-timer who can barely hold this box up. He'll ask for 8,000 rubies, which I somehow magically have right on the dot. We'll take it. This is thousand, I think, is just to help repair the bridge to Who Castle Town from, uh, in my perspective, East uh, Hyrule, depending on which game you're playing with Barry. You then have to donate money for them to take over the Mart in Castle Town. But there's a trick. It's a little cheaper. If you go to the bridge, you're gonna find this Gorn who is tired as hell because he worked so hard on this bridge, uh, and he's probably also underpaid too because that's how most of these workers are. So you can go talk to this absolute ten out of ten Gorn who looks like it makes everyone scream. Mostly in a bad way. And he'll tell you that, hey, if you uh, douse this guy with some hot water, he'll revive himself. And also drop the amount you have to donate for them to take over the mart. So clearly you want to do this, as it makes the mission a lot easier. You'll need to carry the hot spring water all the way to the Goron. Uh, best way to do that is just juke all the enemies as they're going to kill you and knock over the barrel. I'll watch here as I pull off my Lamar Jackson skills. You see here I'm pretty good at... Oh, fuck. I mean, it's not like Lamar made it to the Super Bowl yet, so I guess maybe pulling off his skills ain't good enough. Now, the real best way to do it is to carry the barrel along the edge of the map, and whenever a enemy's aggroed on you, just place it down and take them out. It takes like two minutes, it's not that bad. Although it is a much lamer way to do it, so you'll be branded a lamo, uh, as I've just branded myself. But in doing so, you will have revived this Goron. He'll also roll by you, give him a heart piece, that's pretty cool. You can go back and donate money to who with the Mallow Mart in order for them to take over the Mart in Castletown. It costs now 200. I have eight. Shit. If you're actually looking for the best way to get more rubies, uh, it's probably donating bugs to Agatha. Uh, she seems to have a fetish for it or something, so, you know, just whatever, just go pay her. She'll use like a mosquito wings as like a vibrator or something. I don't know. But what, whatever floats her boat, it's all fine. But in doing so, you'll get enough porn money to donate the 200 to the Mallow Mart, and they will be able to successfully take over the Mart in Castletown. You can go to Castletown, and what was once 100,000 rubies is now 598 rubies. The magic armor is now affordable. According to my math, it is an extremely good deal, or so you thought. You buy it, I would show you how it works, but I have zero interest to put this thing on, because it is the worst fucking item in all of Zelda games, arguably in all video games. So if you do want to waste your time and get an item that is even more useless than a friend who does nothing but fart in your friend group, uh, well, you know, here you go, that's exactly how you do it. This item definitely stinks more than him. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, I apologize for making a how-to video for something that is completely useless. But again, that's how we roll here.